Hello again, citizens of YouTube. My name is Ed, and this is the Rot Gut Review. So the other day, I was scrolling through Instagram, and I saw an ad. Most of the ads I get on Instagram at this point, I'd say 95% of them are somehow liquor related. But this one was a little bit different, because this wasn't for a specific brand. It was for a device. This device, the advertiser claimed, would age your whiskey five years in a matter of seconds. Now, I didn't know what the device was or how it worked or anything like that, but based on what I know about whiskey and drinking whiskey, which I will say might, I might have a little bit of knowledge about that, I was extremely skeptical. In fact, I think my exact reaction was, uh, there's no chance in hell. But you know what? My curiosity was piqued. It was. It was. So I decided to check out what they were selling and give it a try here on the channel. And that's how I came to purchase my very own whiskey pump. Now, if you're anything like me, when you heard the words whiskey pump, you, you definitely thought of something else. We, we don't have to say what it is. We know. We know what we thought of. But the whiskey pump people say this device, well, it's gonna make your whiskey so much better, so much better. Let me show you how it works and we'll find out if they're telling the truth. Now, if you're new to whiskey, you might not know how whiskey matures. The fact is that a ton of the flavor, some people say up to 70% of the flavor, is actually derived from the oak casks that whiskey is aged in. When you first distill your whiskey, it actually doesn't have any color whatsoever. This is Buffalo Trace White Dog. There's no color in here whatsoever. Any flavor that you're getting in here comes from the grain, the fermentation, and the process of distillation. In order to get that wonderful brown color that everybody loves, and the flavors that come along with it, you have to put it in a barrel. Once the whiskey's in the barrel, temperature and pressure changes push the distillate in and out of the barrel staves. That causes extraction. That's when the distillate pulls compounds out of the wood. That woody flavor you get and those vanillas and those caramels come from extraction. However, that's not the whole deal. The second portion is oxidation. That's because as the whiskey is moving in and out of the barrel, there's going to be some air exposure and your whiskey is going to oxidize. And that oxidation and the extraction smooth off the edges of the whiskey, make it a little bit more easy drinking. However, those are not the full story still because the oxidation and the extraction lead to the maturing of the distillate. You're introducing new compounds into the distillate and the alcohol is reacting to them. And that process takes time, it takes a lot, a lot of time, years, years in fact, of that distillate sitting in the barrel, extracting, oxidizing, and maturing. So that's why a lot of people poo poo these, you know, really quick aging techniques that people have come up with as of recently, including, you know, the ultrasonic aging where you shake the barrel and you get the whiskey into the staves quicker. Or if you're just using a smaller barrel, which increases the ratio of wood to liquor. A lot of people aren't big fans of that because they think it's just extracting wood into the distillate. It's not actually maturing it. So that brings me to why I was skeptical about the whiskey pump, all right? Because the way this works is that you have one chamber. Ah! I'm going to do that again. You have one chamber in which you put your whiskey, right? Then you have another chamber where you are going to put a small wood filter. Looks something, looks something like that. 
The wood filter goes in this little itty bitty front chamber here, right? Boop, right in there. Screw that back on. Then once you got whiskey in it, you're gonna push this little plunger. Boop a doop a doop a doop a doop. -a. It's gonna push the whiskey through the little filter and it's gonna collect that nice woody flavor. You might already see where I'm going with this. My concern is that it's this thing isn't really about maturation, it's about extraction. It's extracting wood flavor by pushing the whiskey through the filter and out the other end. That's what I'm skeptical about. Could we get some oxidation really quick just from pushing it through there? Sure, but it's, it's not gonna, you know, be comparable to a mature whiskey, is it? Well, I tell you what, that's what I'm gonna find out right now. So for my first experiment, all I'm gonna do is take my Buffalo Trace White Dog. I'm going to pour a little bit for myself cause I like to drink. Mm. Ah, I do actually like Buffalo Trace White Dog. It, it's one of the nicest, most easygoing white dogs. It's like, it smells like popcorn and strawberries. I actually dig it. And then we're gonna put a little bit of this white dog right in our little cup. Now, I'm gonna do this also with a mature whiskey or a more mature whiskey. And we're gonna see how that turns out. But for that one, I'm gonna do it blind. I'm gonna do it without seeing what's being poured. So for this one, we're just gonna see what it does to this BT. Let's find out. All right, here we go, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. Oh man, it's taking a lot more pumps than I thought it would. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on. Mm. Mm. Pump it. Pump it real good. That took quite a few more pumps than I was expecting, but uh, that's okay. I think that's a good sign. It should mean that it's actually getting pushed through the wood. So, cool. All right, but I've got my unpumped BT white dog over here, and I have my pumped version on my right. Now, I will say, if you were looking to get a really nice color out of this thing, yeah, that's, that's not happening. Although, I do see little particles floating in the pumped version. I hope that's wood, not plastic. All right, but let's give these a little comparison. We know what BT white dog smells like, popcorn, Popcorn and strawberries, all right, all right. But what about this guy? This should smell and taste like a five-year-old bourbon at this point, because we started out with White Dog, the pump should give it five years. All right, let's see if this is a five-year-old bourbon. All right, the nose is not a five-year-old bourbon. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's, it's not a five-year-old bourbon. Um, it still smells like White Dog, um, but I will say there's a little bit more of a vanilla thing here. I think, maybe? Yeah, yeah, there's a little bit more vanilla. There's a little bit more oak. Yeah, okay, I can kind of smell it. I don't think it's particularly strong, but it's there, a little. Let's get a taste. Holy crap, okay. You know what? I will say something. This, this is not like a super mature whiskey all of a sudden. It's not magically mature. However, compared to the White Dog, there's a lot less heat. There's a lot less alcohol burn. This untreated White Dog is way, way more punchy, way more of that spicy alcohol bite. So in that regard, yeah. Yeah, this, this kind of worked. It did take the edge off of that alcohol, similar to how the extraction and oxidation would work in a real barrel. I don't know if I'm getting any super cool old flavors though. Yeah, no crazy big flavors, no crazy big flavors, but you do get a touch of oak. You do get a touch of oak and a little bit of vanilla. It's not bad, it's not bad. There is a, a slight change, I'll give them that. I'll give them that. All right, but what happens if we run it through a second time? I pulled off this cap and I um, spilled BT White Dog all over my pants. It looks like I pissed whiskey. 
All right, let's go. Second, second pump a pump a thon. Let's go. Uh oh, why? Why is it jammed? That doesn't seem right. Hold on. Yeah, it turns out it was just locked, locked in place. I'm dumb. All right, here we go. For reals this time. Pump, pump, pump it up. Pump it, pump it, pump it up. Let's go. Pump, pump, pump it up. Okay, I'm looking at this now, and you guys, I. Doubt you're gonna be able to see it, but there actually is some particulate, more particulate floating in the pumped version. There's a little bit there. Okay, that's kind of cool. Huh, okay. I'm smelling this and I'm actually getting more of the vanilla, more of the vanilla. Certainly, certainly more of a vanilla smell here. Is it dramatically different? Is it dramatically different from our un unpumped version? No, still not dramatically different, but yeah, there's a little something there. Yeah, you know, I'm still not getting getting much. You know, it tastes oakier. It does taste oakier. I'll say that. But yeah, it's certainly not a five-year-old bourbon. All right, but I'm gonna go wash this thing out, and we're gonna try it with a matured whiskey. Now for the matured whiskey, I actually have blind tasting glasses. So we're gonna use the same whiskey for both glasses, but one of them, I'm gonna do the pump. Then, the pump, I like how that how sounds. I'm gonna do the pump. Anyway, my girlfriend is then gonna come in and she's going to mix up the glasses so I don't know which is which. Be back in a sec. I'm back, back again, and I've got a fresh dowel for the pump. The pump itself has been clean and dried thoroughly, and we've got our more mature whiskey to try it out. This is Zachariah Harris. Nothing fancy, nothing too crazy, but you know, it's good. It's good bourbon. It's good straight bourbon. It's just fine. Obviously, uh, I'm not going to use a rye because I don't like old rise and I'm not going to use an Isla Scotch because I don't like old scotches so bourbon seemed like the way to go. Age isn't everything when it comes to rye and scotch. I, I like older bourbons for the most part. All right I'm going to pump up the one on my right and then my long-suffering girlfriend Erica will come in here and switch them around on me so I don't know which is which. Let's do the pump. Pump, 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 And then I'm gonna pour a little bit of the regular old Zechariah into the second Glencare. All right, let's get Erica in here and switch these guys around. All right, I'm back. Again, again, and we've got two whiskeys to drink. All right, one of these is the pumped up one, which one it is has been written on this wee slip of paper. I'm gonna leave that right over there. Let's get into it. All right, on the nose, I can already tell you which one I like better. It's the right one. Imme immediately I can tell I like it better. Holy shit, I like this so much better. I think it's partially because it smells more pickly to me. Yeah, yeah, more pickly. I love pickles, I love pickles, and I love dill, so. Okay, all right. Yeah, the, the one on the left smells comparatively flat. Actually, comparatively flat. Just kinda oaky, oaky and sweet. Yeah, but this, uh, this one over here, woo, spicy, I like it. I like it. All right, let's get a couple of tastes, eh? The left one is fine. Tastes like banana, uh, very sweet cherry, that sort of thing. It's fine, it's not bad. And the right one, the right one is still pretty similar to the left one, I will say. Banana and a little bit of, a little bit more oak on this one though. A little bit more oak, hmm. Yeah, a little bit more oak, a little bit more of the spice, 
I'm not getting the dill like I did on the nose. You know I love that dill, and I wanted that to show up on the taste, but it's really just on the nose. So, if I had to guess, I'm gonna say the one on my right is the one that had the pumping done to it, that went through the whiskey pump. Let's find out. The right one is pumped, the left one is the control. Yeah, yeah, for sure, okay. I, I, I will say, this is not a dramatic difference between these two. These both still smell and taste like Zachariah hairs. That said, I do like the one on the right a lot better. It is more oaky, it is, it has that dill smell that I like, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah, okay, I like it. The taste, the taste is not that different though. The nose, I liked better. The taste, eh, it's all right. It's okay, it's not, it's be, I, I would say there is a little bit more complexity to it than the one on the left, but not to a great degree, not, not a whole big difference. But surprisingly enough, I actually like the pumped one better. Still, still, I, I don't think that it ages whiskey five years. No, no, I don't think it ages whiskey five years. I think, I think that's a, that's spurious at best, but it does make, it is interesting. It is interesting. I'll give them that. It's a wacky little device and it does change the flavor in a good way, in a good way, yeah. Now, is this something I think I'm gonna be using on all my whiskeys now? Uh, probably not. Probably not, but it's a fun little gimmick. And I bet you, oh, next time we have people over, me and Erica have people over and they want a whiskey and I'll be like, oh, check this out. You wanna try something really weird? Let's, let's do this thing and we'll see what they think of it. Like, now this is like 40 some odd bucks. Future Eddie, tell them, tell them the real price. This is like 40 some odd bucks though. So in that regard, is it worth the money? Eh. Because it's not really the miracle whiskey ager that they're kind of advertising it as. I don't, I don't know. That advertising sticks in my craw. Like, oh, add five years of whatever to your to your whiskey. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a fun gimmick. I think it's a fun gimmick. It's cute. You know, it's it's kind of fun. It certainly does change the whiskey to an extent. I don't think it's as dramatic as they're making it out to be. But for a lark, for a weird little kitschy thing to play around with, yeah, I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. Is this going to suddenly make properly traditionally aged whiskey, you know, a thing of the past? No. No. Not even close. Now, they do say that you can reuse the little dowels if you let them dry out. But I wouldn't think they'd have too many uses in them. You know, this is a little itty bitty thing, you know. Eventually you're gonna run out of wood to extract. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go down, hit the like button, subscribe, all of that. And I'm gonna send you off with a double stone cold. Until next time, make sure to stay healthy, stay safe, and stay rotten. <laughs> Uh, mostly went down my chin. <laughs>